show you the email that you'll receive from the platform. I'll then show you the process of how you access the platform and how you complete complete all of your assessments. Okay, doc. so Megan, correct me if I'm wrong, but this will be happening on the first now? From the second. On the third, second, yeah. Super. From the second, Thank yeah. You. So it closes on the first and on from the second. That's perfect. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to show you a generic email. Um, first and foremost, this will be the email that you'll receive, as Megan's just mentioned, on the 2nd or the 3rd of December. This will be your access email to the Simply Do platform. Um, I'm going to show a training um, opportunity, uh, but this particular email will be exactly the same. It will just say the name of the opportunity which you are due to assess, which is this one here, unlocking the value chain of EVs and micro mobility in India. So it will say you've been assigned to assess that opportunity. This will be the email that you you will receive. If you don't receive this email by the third, by the end of the third, I would suggest getting in touch with Megan and just double checking. Um, we can reissue that email to go back out to yourself. So on the second or the third, you'll receive this email. Inside of the email, there'll be a couple of things. There'll be a one page platform guidance document, which will walk you through step by step how to complete your assessments. Um, I'll show that today, but I'm also going to demonstrate that entire process for us on the call. Um, and the second thing you'll have is an access link to the platform, which says view your assessments. That will take you directly to the Simply Do platform. You will register for your account and the account that you register with will be the account that these that these um, applications are then assigned to. And towards the bottom, then you'll see a deadline for assessment. Please note, this is not your deadline. This this deadline is is, is obviously um, not about to pass. Your deadline will be on the 10th of, um, of December, um, but I'll show that again. It's also shown in the platform. At the bottom of this email, then there's two attachments. One attachment is the in platform walkthrough the platform guidance document so as i touched on that will show you how to access the platform it will show you how to complete your virtual assessments you'll see some screenshots on the right hand side so you're aware of which part of the product you should be in to complete those assessments and then finally it will show you how to submit the assessments i'm not going to go through that in too much detail because i'm just about to um, demonstrate it now the second document then will be the assessment criteria document so you will have all of this assessment criteria inside of the platform, but we also will send you a document containing all of that assessment criteria and supporting guidance. Again, this one is a test one. You'll receive a different one and I'll show you what that that will look like in a moment. So on the second or the third, you'll receive this email, two documents attached. All that you'll need to do is click view your assessments and log in or create an account on the Simply Do platform. The point when you log in, you will then arrive at this screen here. This is the your assessment screen and it will have a list of applications which you're due to assess. As you can see here, I only have one application and that is a test application for the purpose of this demonstration. Megan. I'm just checking. We can't see anything on our screen if, if Sorry, you're supposed to be screen oh sharing. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a great start, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. I was thinking, yeah, morning, it all I makes think. sense to me. And then I was realizing, well, hopefully, I've everybody, done this. Every, hopefully everybody is understanding. Everybody's aware. We're good. Thanks for the demo. I'll see you soon. <laughs> OK, so the whole first five minutes of that demonstration, I was talking about this email that you can see on screen here. So this is the email that you'll receive on the second or the third. This will be for the EV challenge rather than a training opportunity. Um, inside of the email, you've got a platform guidance document and a direct link to access your assessments. So that's this button here. All you need to do is click view your assessments. You'll be then taken through to the Simply Do platform. And the two attachments, as I mentioned earlier, the first one is a walkthrough assessment guidance document. So that will walk you through step by step how to access the platform, how to complete your assessments and how to then submit them. And again, you'll see some screenshots on the right hand side that can help help you understand what part of the product you're in. I'm going to go through all of that now in a demonstration. But when you receive the email, that is also there to support you. 
The second document is the assessment marking criteria. Now, as I as I mentioned before, this is currently a test marking criteria. You will have the marking criteria for the EV challenge inside of here. Um, and then you will see the assessment scores and the criteria for those scores. As I mentioned, this is for demonstration purposes. You will receive a different a different document and I'll show I'll show what that looks like in the platform now. So on the second or the third, you'll receive this email. As I mentioned, if you don't receive it, just email Megan. Um, it's kind of close of play on the third or the fourth, and, and we can support and make sure that you do get that email. But we haven't had any, any issues to date. So then once you click view your assessments, you'll log into the platform and you will arrive at this screen here. This is the your assessment screen, and it will have a list of applications which you're due to assess. Now you can see here I'm assigned to assess one application and that is a test application for the purpose of this demonstration. So you'll have a list of applications which you're due to assess. Up here we can see the assessment deadline which is set at 5pm um, on the 10th of the 12th, so on the 10th of December. That, that deadline will always be here if it changes you'll be updated as to what the new deadline is. But inside of the platform, I'll just walk through the page in front of us. You'll have your list of applications. You'll see your total percentage weighted score. That will update as you complete your assessments. You'll see the status of your assessment. Now I've not started this one, so it's not it's a not submitted assessment. We'll then be able to submit and download applications as PDFs. Some assessors like to download all of the applications, have them to hand, read them, review them, and then complete their assessment inside of the platform. So you can download them individually, or you can download all of the applications that you've been assigned to assess. And the last one is assess application. So that's the place where we'll start. You've got your list of applications and then you click assess application. At that point, the application will arrive on the right hand side of the screen. Um, again, you'll see the assessment deadline. And the first question is around a conflict of interest, just to, so that you can declare whether you have a conflict of interest with any of the applications that are inside the platform. If you do need to declare a conflict of interest, select that and tell us what that conflict is, submit that assessment, and then you can carry on with the rest of your assessments. But if you do not need to declare a conflict of interest, you'll then see the rest of the assessment questions and you'll be able to progress through. Uh, Harsha, yes. So when you say conflict of interest, uh, would that be like, you know, if a company that we've worked with in the past or know them, uh, would that be something that we have to flag? Because we've been working on other um, Catapult projects. I know that some of the startups that were part of that project also are applying for this call. So just wanted to double check. Good question, Harsha. I'll pass that back over to the team for a response. Yes, it would be. Um, and what we can do from our side is then we can just change who who comes to you. Um, oh. I, I presume, Josh, we can just edit, um, yes. add them to a different assessor. Yeah. So yeah, if correct. you have worked with them before um, or are currently working with them, perhaps, um, yeah, just let us know. Perfect. And in, in, in that scenario, Harsha, I would suggest um, selecting this and submitting that particular assessment straight away. We don't typically we don't assess um, submit assessment straight away. But if you have a conflict, declare the conflict, submit it and Megan will then reassign you to a different application to assess or we will get a different assessor to assess that application. Thank you. Good question. Um, <clears throat> then you've got the application that was completed. Now, in this case, as I mentioned, there's nothing in here. It's purely for the purpose of, of assessment. At the bottom of the application, then, you will see your assessment questions. You'll see here there's a supporting information box. What will happen after this training session is I will upload the video recording of this call within the supporting information box, should you need to come back and rewatch this video at any point in time. But underneath here, then you'll see the assessment question. So the first question is around impact. Is the selected challenge addressed? And then underneath that in the yellow boxes, you will see your assessment guidance. So consider these questions and consider the assessment marking criteria prior to providing your assessment score. So score of five, if the technology solution meets the criteria, exceeds it and demonstrates a great understanding of the challenge. So I would then provide my score. You then provide your justification. 
and then work your way through the assessment scores. A couple of points. The platform will save for you as you go. So if you get through one question and you've got a meeting and you need to close down your computer, close it down, come back at any other time. The platform will have saved your progress for you as you're going through this process. Um, you can come in and out of assessments and go into a different one, come back to the previous assessment and your score will still be the same inside Simply Do. So you don't need to rush and get through all of this and submit it all super quickly. Work your way through the assessment questions, provide all of your assessment scores. And then once you've completed that, move on to the next assessment. You'll notice there's two assessment sections. The first one is around the general assessment. The second one is the general assessment questions. Now, these are questions that have zero weighting. So so there's no waiting to them, but the team need to understand, do you have any questions you would like to ask at the interview? Score one for yes, zero for no. And if you score one, add your questions underneath in the justification box. The second question, do you have any feedback for the applicant to improve their application? Score one for yes, zero for no, and provide your feedback below. And the final one, would you, sh would you shortlist this proposal for the interview stage? score zero for no and provide your reasoning as to why you don't believe that particular application should progress or if you think they should progress you just score one you don't have to provide a justification you can then go ahead and move on to the next assessment so i've walked through the assessment process once you've completed one i would suggest before submitting it go through all of your assessments the reason for that is that when we complete our first assessment and you provide a bunch of scores, typically those scores might change once you've assessed four or five applications. So I would suggest completing your assessment, move on to the next assessment, complete your assessment, move on to the next one, because you might want to go back in and change some of your scores. Once you've completed that, and you can see now that this this score, this particular application is currently scored now at 52%, the platform will update as you put your scores in. Once you've completed all of your assessments and you're happy and you're ready, then all that you'll need to do is come down to the bottom right here and click submit all assessments. All of those assessments will come through to the CPC team then. And those 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 scores of those assessments will be collated for an assessment report. The final point is that when you're within the platform, if you're lost, you're not sure where the application is, you can't find a certain button. In the bottom right hand corner of the screen is the in platform product support. So if you've got any technical questions or you need any technical support, open up a conversation with myself, another member of the Simply Do team, and we'll be on hand to support you. If it's a question around you're not sure whether to score a three or a four, that would be a question that goes to the CPC team. If it's a question around you can't find the assess application button or you can't submit your assessments or you've submitted them and you need to retract them, get in touch with us. We can we can support you from a product perspective. OK, I'm glad I finally managed to, to share my screen. Sorry about the first kind of three or four minutes there. Um, does anyone have any 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 questions at all before I, you know, happy to hand back over Megan or, or for you to add anything, add anything to this? Stunned. It's, it's, it seems seems pretty pretty simple, Josh. Thank you. Um, Super. Thanks, Richard. Megan, can we just confirm that, if possible, um, comments and justification, we would like them for every uh, every um, assessed question. Yeah, yeah. It would be great just to have um, yeah as many comments and and um, views no. as we can. Um, so yeah, that'd be great. Smashing. Um, but I, I mean, I've I've been using Simply Do, it and I think it's quite intuitive. Um, but yeah, just let us know if you have any questions. Um, so just next steps from our side would be uh, the opportunity closes on the first of December, and then on the second you will be uh, you, you'll receive your um, applications uh, for assessment. So yeah, it goes from there, and obviously in between now and then, and following any questions about the challenge, about the judging, please do come to myself um, and about the platform. Josh is, is your guy. Super. Sure. Thank you so much. Um, Josh. Thank, Thank you for giving us. your time. Pretty, straight, pretty straightforward. Wonderful. Yeah.
And Megan, the, I will... the deadline is 10th, is it? Yes, all, ass all assessments done by the 10th, if possible. And mm -hmm. I know um, that hopefully fits in better with, yeah. with term yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yes, any questions, do you let us know. So yeah, and, one thing. So this whole yeah. video will be uploaded in the, uh, can you? Yes. Um, so so we when... will, yeah, I, we, we yeah, will on, provide Megan. a link. I was going to say we'll provide a link to it following this. And then Josh, it will be on the, above the assessment um, at, Panel, no, I think. this this recorded video. I mean to say, like, uh, so it will be updated, right? It will be uploaded. This, this. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, okay. yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Any other questions? No, great. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for your time, um, and have a good weekend. Thank you. Thanks, Josh. Thank you. No, cheers. Thanks. Bye. Or Megan, have you got five minutes to stay on? Yeah, I'll just stop the recording. <laughs> oh, yeah, that might help. <laughs>